Hey, Sneaker House, back in the house, back in the house. Today we have for you is Simplice Linux 5, all the way from Italia, yeah. Runs Debian Sid, unstable, and comes with the open box Windows Manager desktop environment. And very nice it is too. I've done a full install here on the old dual core machine. It's super duper, nice, that's what it says on Tim. And it's really nice to run. If you want a system that's really stripped back, fast, and will run on older machines, this could be for you. But it's also super fast on newer hardware. So you're saying to me, well, where's the start menu, Sneaky? Well, be an open box, it doesn't have one. If you're not new to Linux and you don't know your different desktop environments, this may be a bit weird for you. What do you do? You right click the desktop and you have a little menu. Super in it. So on our menu, we have a terminal, a web browser, and IRC chat. Our web browser is Chromium. Yeah, it sure is. Chromium. When it starts coming out, so I just reboot it. Maybe dinner at the same time. So if I put Simplice up there, in theory, it should come up. That's the one we want. And this is Simplice Linux. Okay, we'll read more. Should we go to the next one? This is what we're running here Simplice 5 High Hopes. High Hopes. Why is that high hopes? And as you can see, they've been drinking. Now, I'm not sure if they're old enough to drink, actually, because they're quite, they were quite young lads when they started out. Maybe they've it's been so long now. I know, it's been years, it's been years. Now, the main difference is with this one here, they've actually added support for UEFI, LVM, and encrypted LVM support for your installer. The installer is super duper now, by the way. It doesn't take no time at all to install anything. You should get all your uh, other stuff, bits and bobs going out of the box, so you get some codecs and whatever. Right. <clears throat> Blah blah blah. But well, you can easily get to your favourite web application via a new WebKit 2 based web application viewer, which basically means that you can put web applications in the menu, okay? It's called one slip, by the way, so don't slip over. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Anyway, if you want to upgrade from Simplice 4, which some of you may already have, you just do a normal distro upgrade, okay? That's all you do. So, see you later. That's Chromium, by the way, it's the web browser. Right, I'm just going to give you a quick look around because it is really fast. You should know what you're looking at, and you want something fast and quick, this is for you, okay? No, that no, is really, really. Under accessories, we get clip it, clip it, clip it. Jungle is nice. Nitrogen mouse pad, root terminal, screenshot, and X archive. Under games, you just get the new Tetris one they've done the link for. Under graphics, you just get a PDF viewer, GNU paint, and Mirage. Okay, because it's a Mirage. Under the internet, you get add a web application. So basically, like in other distros here, if I open that for you. So you've got a favorite page. Say we'll say Google Plus. Put Google Plus there. You put the URL there. Bloody, bloody, blah. -de -blah, -de -blah and what section you want it in, see what I mean? So you can put it in internet or whatever, click OK, and off you go. And there you are, all done. Yeah, simple, isn't it? Simple but easy, OK. Right, in the internet we have Chromium, which I've already opened for you. Claws for your mail is a Facebook quick link, a GFTP for your FTP stuff, Pigeon for your messaging, a Twitter a link, you get an XChat, XChat, XChat. Under Office, all you get is Abbey Word and G Numeric and a PDF viewer again, OK? It's the same thing. As you can see, Works straight out of the box, gets the job done, do the work, nice, nice and lovely. Okay, where was I? Oh, yeah. Sound and video. X How is your player of choice here? Yeah, your player of choice. So if you're going to rip your CDs, so those of you who still have CDs, personally, for you, I would use Asunder, but it's entirely up to you. Okay, entirely up to you. Yeah, I'll go back there. You've got no mem player for videos, there's a mixer, I don't use that because I've installed Pulse Audio for the simple reason, it's easier to get my USB microphone working just installing Pulse Audio, it's like 13 seconds it takes. Whereas with Elsa sometimes it's hit and miss whether Elsa wants to play with the, the microphone. Even that's the same hardware, it's just different distributions play differently, okay? Obviously I'm using Record My Desktop to record today, I've downloaded the Voco screen but I just didn't install it. Yeah. XF Burn for your burning, does what it says on the tin, but if you really want the dog's Trolux stuff, you need to get K3B for your burning. And also has a YouTube link there, okay? And the system tools, you get rocks and your task manager. Slow the task manager up, you can see what's going down. As you can see, I'm recording at the same time here, as I've said seven times probably. There you go, it's running there. So I'm using 33% of my CPU and 273 of my memory. Now, when I'm not using a recording program, it doesn't hardly use it. I think about 110, I'm going to have it the other day. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but it does, yeah. We'll quit that. Okay, where was we? Oh yeah, applications and preferences. You can change your flash player preferences here. Your Bluetooth manager, your monitor settings, your network connections, and your screensaver. And under administration, we get the usual manage some please features. Should we have a look on that one? Why not? So I need my password for that, so I better put that in. That's A B C D F G A. Anyway. 
You can manage your Bluetooth support, your printing support, you can turn it on and off, whatever you want to do, and your proprietary codex and stuff like that. And you can customize your features too. That's nice and easy to do. That. Nice little thing to do. I, mean, I know you're saying, oh, but you have to do a lot of clicking. Open box is very minimal, okay? It just gives you a, a, just a clear screen to get your work done. So you should change your desktops as and when you want to do that, okay? Just as and when, yeah. Right, where was we? Okay, Synaptic is also here for installing your programs of choice, so should I show you how to do it? Yeah, oh, go on then, just for you. And we'll go into Synaptic, we'll just quickly install the Thunder, okay? I'll just quickly show you how to use Synaptic for installing stuff. There's no fancy GUI here, it's just like, does it says on tin. So we put Thunder. Hit enter there. And wait a couple of seconds, and there's a sunder. So when I mark for installation, yeah, 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 we want all that. Mark again, and apply. Yeah, we want uh, that two meg. That's going to change. That's all it needs to install the sunder. Okay, move that up a bit. We'll open up the details so you can see what we're doing, and you can see look. Oh, this is a 64-bit version, by the way. This is 64-bit. Normally, 64 bits don't play good on this older hardware, but this one, for some reason, having no problem at all. Good old Debian, eh? No, that's what he says on it, tin, didn't it? Debian. Oh, yeah. Now, you shouldn't have to reboot the uh, <coughs> machine to get the package up, but we'll have a look in a second, so we'll close that now. We go back to applications, sound and video, and a sunder is there. All ready for us to play around with. Nice. Now, I've always liked Openbox, and I've always liked Assemplice, okay? Like a lot of the other smaller distros, because it's a nice, clean way to work. It may not work for you, because you might like, want whistles and bangs and flashes and wibbly wobbly woo bars. You can do it here if you want to, but what's the point? You just want to get your work done and get stuff done. Yeah. Oh, and you can play all your games you want to, and do whatever you like. Yeah. Anyway, 92%. Sneaky Linux Gannett. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.